I saw her so tall. I am forever. It's, um, it's a magic. It's hard to explain it. <laughs> I feel like I could just jump up, I swear, and take off, but nothing too hard about it. I might do it. You can feel, you can feel, um, the energy, everything around you. You just feel it. Energy from the moon, or the plants, everything around you. It's wonderful. I, um, I think nature and animals and all those things are very inspirational to my work. I play off of those things with children. And um, it stimulates ideas, uh, it creates all kind of things. I just can't tell you. I think the majority of my success is from these sources. And some people say, well, go into detail. But it's hard. You really can't. It's just the whole world of it. You just play off of life. I think it's the same thing what inspires painters and sculptors and people of the arts. It's the whole world of it. It's just what I like to do is, um, I'll probably get my sister down here and just, we'll just fool around and talk. And she'll tell you some of her magic experiences and stories. Because it's, it's good to be able to play, to capture a moment and to preserve it thanks to modern technology that we can do this. It's a witch and to um, let it stimulate because this is magic for me. Not magic. Put on out the bed. What are you talking about? It's on my lap. Water. What? What's on my lap? I hear. I don't know what it is. It's <laughs> not important. Oh, it's off now. It's off. You it's see important. it? I don't care. Anyway. I was just talking about. Oh, wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was just talking about the dusk and the magic of dawn. Will you be quiet, you fat head rascal? <laughs> and I, what I wanted to ask you was, what inspires you? Musically or what? Anything. I mean, what inspires you uh, to create things, or musically, or makes you feel good? What? I would I would say the sound of the ocean. I like the beat. Right. And musically, that inspires me because I see the creation of God. When I he listen to all the different sounds, the ocean and that roar. That That's what I spoke in. about earlier. Oh, really? I said the same thing. Yeah. You're kidding. See, we didn't go look. What do you think is the main thing you want to do in the future? What's your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal is to be a multifaceted performer. Uh, such as Barbara Streisand and Diana Ross. I think actually they're the only two that have really combined music as well as acting together. The two. That's true. And that's what I'd like to do. Yeah, of course, are. everybody wants to be where you are right now, but that's what I would like to do. I haven't done anything. I feel like oh, I just yeah. started. Just beginning. Don't so you I like to be in your city. So I look so hard. It's cold, Michael. Oh, it is, and it's magic. How can you say it's cold? It's a wonderful night. It's magic out here. Are you cold, really? I'm not. A little bit. Well, because of the water that, you know, it's falling over. It's, it's clear. It's beautiful. It's, it's wonderful out here. So, the falls um, look pretty? Yeah, very pretty. It's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's the, it's the perfect thing to be doing this tonight. Really. I remember this for a long time. Anyway, um, what else would you like to, to say? Some of your dreams? No, no. Oh, dreams in life? Yes. <laughs> I thought you were those terrible dreams I had. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got an idiot for our sister, folks. <laughs> <laughs> got my training from him. <laughs> Give me a, what else? What are some of your other dreams? I do so many. I'd like to be right now where you are. That's my biggest dream. She keeps saying that. Because you've done it all, practically. I haven't done it all. Yes, you have. 
and so every every artist would like to be in your shoes, and that's where I'm. Since I'm an artist, just starting, just beginning, that's where I'd like to be. That's very flattering. Thank you. You're welcome. But there's so much more. It really is. Well, of course, movies. I don't like when people limit themselves. I don't. No, of course. We have a I'd lot like, in common. Of course, movies. Mr. Lynn. And... I'd love to do movies. Yeah. Yeah. But um. I guess that would be it in the entertainment field. Yeah. Has Bill been here the entire time? You think he's directing this piece? Has he been in here? Hey, you know. I know he keeps telling this. me to look in the camera. <laughs> Come in. It's in the night does. Yeah, it does, because listening to the waterfalls and the lights. I like Paris. It's my favorite place. You ever I been to know. Europe? You guys? Isn't it nice? I love Where have you been? Where were you Cuba? born? Oh, oh, wish I could say that. <laughs> I love Germany. I'm oh, from Indiana. My favorite is Paris. Oh, really? She's what? Half Indian. East okay. Indian or American Indian? East Indian. Okay, that's more like it. I'm, I'm, she knows I'm a big fan of East Indian. Oh, is that Bill, why you said that? Who are my people? What, what, like, His what ancestors. race? I, no, what race I really like? <laughs> uh, I think, no, East Indian. I think they're really beautiful, and the darker they are, the more beautiful. Bill, excuse me. Can you close that door? Your voice is very irritating. I know. I hate this green. Not like Carol Burnett. Can you close that door, Bill, please? Thank you. Anyway, I think uh, we've captured some good magic here, and. Um, I think it's a good time to close this. Uh, maybe we could sing a quick song? All right, which one to sing? Jingle bells, no. <laughs> what, what should we sing? We don't have that um, much time. Let's make it quick. Uh, never can say goodbye? Okay. Never, never can, can say goodbye. No, 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 I never can say goodbye. You take it. Is it so? Da, 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 da. Don't want to let you go. Is that it? Be quiet. My phone's still. Off the camera? I know. Why have I been on television? I still have to be filmed. Not because I'm vain. I am so good to kill you. Not because I'm vain. I like you making wet? magic. Of course, honey. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know, I'm LaToya, and I come from a rather large family, a family of two girls and six brothers. When I was a little girl, I used to watch all of my brothers rehearse every single day, not knowing that one day they would be the famous Jackson Five. And I never had a dream that I would be a part of this as well, because I never wanted a part of music in my life. I wanted nothing to do with it, just by watching them rehearse every day and struggling and my father making them do it over and over it became so repetitious i said no i don't want a life like that and i don't want to be a part of that and then it just all clicked when i became i guess 16 17 years old there i was on stage loving every single minute of it and i love it today i'm trying very hard to succeed one of my biggest dreams was always to really meet the beatles because they were so big and Michael decided to do a film with Paul McCartney because they had been writing together. And before you knew it, there I was in the video, Say, 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 with him as a part of the video. And we all worked together. They're such wonderful people, Paul and Linda McCartney, and, and of course the others in the family. And we just had a ball. We were out at Los Alamos, that's where we filmed it. We were there for about a week, and it took four shooting days. And it was just great, very easy to work with, and it was very simple, and it was wonderful. And I enjoyed every single minute of it. And it was one of my dreams just to really just meet him, not knowing that a couple of years later I would be working with him as well. And I hope in the future I'll be able to do more work with him and other people as well. How about living here? 
No, it's nothing special. <laughs> the music I'm doing? Well, um, I've completed my album, and I'm hoping it does well as Michael. I mean, every artist is hoping for that. But I don't know what to say. When you're on the spot like this, you don't know what to say. Isn't this awful? 